Hi, um, today it's um, May 1st, 2022. Uh, the topic of this video will be um, the disorder of the mind of emotion, depression. So who is at risk for depression? Um, again, um, I would like to greet everyone, and my name is uh, Yannick Dentis. I am a family nurse practitioner who is based in West Palm Beach, uh, Florida. Um, as usual, before we start, as, as, as we know, health is not only uh, physical. Health is body and mind, spiritual and physical. So before we start, let's go to spiritual portion of health. Let's go to see what God said about depression, anxiety. Uh, we, we are going to Psalm, we're going to go to Psalm 46, we, uh, verses 1 through 3. Quote, uh, God is, uh, Psalm 46, verse 1 through 3. Verse 1 uh, Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. So, therefore, verse 2, therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Verse 3, Though its waters war and be troubled, though the mountain shake with its swelling. This is God's words about the spiritual component of depression or anxiety. Um, so let's see exactly what is depression. So depression is a prolonged feeling of unhappiness and despondency. Uh, often depression magnified by a major life event such as um, bereavement, divorce, retirement. Uh, many women uh, experience depression after, child, uh, after a childbirth. Okay, so, they, so some of them, they experience major depression. Clinical depression is a uh, genuine illness. Okay, this is not a fake uh, uh, illness, which overwhelms the sufferer so that he or she feels like they feel like they are, they are, they are uh, hopeless, dejection, and, f and fear out of all proportion of any causes. Okay, so some data, some in, uh, in, interesting data I found about depression, so people need to know. 10%, 10 to 20% of the world population, the entire world, like um, uh, in the course of their lifetime, okay, in their, course, in, the, in their course of their lifetime, 10 to 20% of the population, they will experience major depressions. Either it's because they are, so, they, they, they are suffering of, um, either, uh, either it's after a divorce or retirement, uh, bereavement, childbirth. So they, they said, uh, the study shows 10 to 20% will suffer, will have major depression. And, uh, and also women, they are more likely to be depressed than men. So the ratio is two to one. So if you have, let's say two, there's two women to one man um, will have depression. And in the United States, um, about 8 billion people, not million, billion people, they are going to see their primary care provider in the, uh, for depression treatment. 
okay because they are depressed they feel depressed so they see the primary care uh, provider for them to have some kind of uh, medication most likely pills for depression and also the research shows that 50 percent of people who suffer from depression has a hereditary component so apparently um, there's a, uh, uh, you know, like if some, it's in the uh, family. So that's what they found. So most likely if somebody, their mom, their grandparents or their dad, you know, they suffered a depression, the likelihood for that person to, 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 to have it, it's, greater. And one word of caution, uh, someone who is depressed, they may contemplate or attempt suicide, uh, suicidal. So they are suicidal. So the, the depression can lead to suicidal. So people who, is, who feel depressed, it's very important they go and seek for help because there is good medications who um, they can start you who can uh, stabilize your mood, okay? It's a, like, a, like I said, okay, depression, it's, it's a disorder of the mind and emotion. So there is good med med uh, medication, so who can um, stabilize it, you know, who can control your mood. So it's nothing to be worried or to be afraid, you know, just you need to seek help. Uh, talk to 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 your uh, prime primary care provider, and um, you know that that healthcare professional will decide uh, which med med uh, medication you need to be started, or they can refer you to a mental health uh, specialist. Uh, who is at risk? for depression. Again, I'm going to repeat it again. Who is at risk of, is after a divorce, you know, pe people feel depressed. Um, they don't want to eat, they're sad, you know, feeling sadness. They don't want to go out. And after uh, re retirement or after a death of someone close to them, and also um, after a childbirth. So women after a, child, a childbirth, they are at, at risk to develop major depression. What are the symptoms? What, what are the symptoms for depression? The symptom for depression is poor concentration, confusion, Irritability, you know, the patient feel uh, irritable, they are short fuel, they don't have no patience to talk to somebody. Uh, most, you know, people like that, you, so they feel depressed. Self accusation or loss of self esteem um, can cause, depression can cause that too, loss of appetite. When, when somebody feels depressed, they don't have no no feeling to eat you know you feel like you know they feel like staying in bed most most of the time or you know in their couch watching tv loss of sexual sexual drives um the the, the symptom also can be in, insomnia that's meaning difficulty to sleep and early morning working so they instead of, instead of of they wake up you know uh, they regular time, I don't know, maybe six, seven o'clock, they will wake wake up early early, like four, five AM. Okay, so this is a, their symptoms. I'm going to repeat again. Their symptom, poor concentration, confusion, irritability, self accusation or, or loss and loss of self esteem, loss of appetite, loss of sexual drive, insomnia, difficulty to sleep, and early morning working. What are the treatment for depression? Um, if you feel depressed, the best 
course of action is to go see your PCP, your primary care provider, either a, a medical doctor, either a nurse practitioner, or physician assistant. Um, depending uh, what they found, depending, you know, depending the assessment, then they can refer you to a mental health provider. They can refer you to a psychologist or a psychiatrist. But for depression, you know, simple depression, um, we have good med uh, med medication. We have good conventional antidepressant, such as Zoloft, Metazepine, Paxil, etc. There are so many of them. So depending um, which one your particular healthcare provider they used to, so they can prescribe that. And also there's herbal also. People can, they, uh, according to uh, lead review, is good for depression, like uh, chamomile, uh, essential oil, as an, an antidepressant uh, quality. A qualities and so and the, the tea also you know if you drink the tea that will help also um, also a uh, 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 we can find also vervain uh, rosemary lime flower oats all those herbal they have an antidepressant uh, qualities. And also vitamin, um, uh, also we, uh, vitamin and vitamins B6, B12, folic acid, vitamin C. Uh, st uh, study shows that they, they have a positive effect for depression. Um, so depression is something that don't take it lightly, okay? So if someone feel, you know, you're feeling sad, you're feeling like um, you don't have an appetite, you don't want to eat, you don't want to get, get out of the bed, loss of sexual drive, um, you cannot, you know, you cannot sleep, you have, your sleeping habit has changed dr drastically, uh, slow speech, your concentration, you have poor concentration. So seek um, medical attention. Um, so they can start you on something early before, um, you know, before those symptoms progress to something else. Um, and also, um, And then also they have also they have different treatment also like homeopathic treatment. You know people can read more and uh, uh, Chinese herbal balis, You know uh, Chinese herbs. There's some Chinese herbs. Um, they said that is good. For example, they said uh, some Chinese herb. Who is good for that? They said uh, Ange Angelica uh, uh, Pini Root, uh, Licorice, and Tara Wax Root. So, so on that, um, I will wish you. Um, Best of health. Okay, bye-bye.